everyone, so I'm really excited today to share a discovery that I made, which is something I have suspected for a long time, but today I finally got around to actually testing it out, which is how to make SDOJ run better on the Xbox 360. As we all know, at least fans of SDOJ, we know that the 360 port is extremely controversial. It isn't really that well done as far as when it comes to the input lag and slowdown. They feel absolutely oppressive at times. And I remember over the years playing the game on and off, I feel like I've had experiences where it felt like, okay, today it kind of feels like it's running well. Then other days I'd play it and it'd feel like, wow, this game is running like crap today. And I started to wonder, what is going on here? Is this just my imagination? Is this just time and stuff like that? But then I started to think about it and I started to put some pieces together and I realized the days that the game seemed to play well and feel well were the days that I was playing it on my CRT and the days that the game seemed to play badly and play like crap were the days that were on my HDMI monitor, my gaming monitor. And at first I just chalked it up to, well, HDMI is slow and laggy compared to CRT even on a really good gaming monitor, so that just must be what's going on. But as I've gotten more and more time on my gaming monitor, where I spend about 80% of my time on gaming monitors now and less time on CRT, I'm playing Dota on Pachi, I'm playing all these other shmups on my gaming monitor, especially with FreeSync and everything, I'm starting to realize that the difference between a really, really good FreeSync gaming monitor, or G-Sync gaming monitor, and the CRT is not as noticeable as I once thought. So then it got the wheel spinning. So, well, maybe there's something else going on here with the differences between the performance. Then I started to think, um, in previous experiences with Ninja Gaiden on the PS3, I noticed that when I would play Ninja Gaiden on the PS3 and 480i, the slowdown was actually better and more improved compared to the slowdown on the uh, HDMI, you know, 720p, 1080p, stuff like that. So I started to think, maybe some of these issues with SDOJ is not actually just the game. Maybe there is some issues with the console not being able to really perform or it's not really optimized the way it needs to be. And so I was like, okay, let's try this out, especially now that I have some proper equipment to test this out. So I hooked up my Xbox 360 with component cables to my um, OSSC, and I ran it and I made sure so it's running in 480i on my SSSC, and I you know, did some gameplay, and already I could feel like, yeah, the game's running better, there seems to be less slowdown, the input lag kind of feels better, it all feels better. And then I saved that replay, and then I ran that same replay on in 720p, you know, widescreen mode and stuff like that. And I put them side by side. And as you'll see here, when I jump to the video, there are actual differences between this. The 480i version has less slowdown and runs better than if you put it in 720p. This is very clearly noticeable, as you'll see here in the video I'm about to jump to. So just if you want to set this up, you're either going to need to actually play it on a CRT with, you know, component cables or whatever cables you're going to use on your CRT, RGB or S-Video. And you want what the things I did, I think this helps, is you switch it to wide mode off. So there's a wide mode in the options. That's for 16 by 9. Switch it to 4 by 3. So turn wide mode off. That'll make it display better on your CRT anyway. And then um, turn off smoothing. I just... Again, people have gone back and forth and saying, well, smoothing doesn't make a difference. But at the same time, it's like, well, I, that has probably been all tested on the 720p, 1080p settings where it runs like crap anyway. So just to be safe, just turn smoothing off. Plus, I think smoothing looks like crap anyway, so just turn it off. Turn off smoothing, um, and then it'll sh I'll show you the difference between playing it in 720p and 40i. So we'll jump to the video now. Okay, so here we are now at the video um, comparison. So on the left here, we have the 480i. On the right, we have the 720p. Yeah, the, the screen aspect ratio is a little bit off or a little bit different. I don't know why that is, except I think it might have to do with just my OSSC settings and crap like that. But when you're playing it on the monitor, it looks very equivalent. Um, but anyway, so the 480i version is definitely, while I was playing it, not only did it feel like there was less uh, slowdown and stuff like that. It also felt like there was less lag and it might not be that there's less lag It might be just that the lag is more consistent and more stable so it feels better 
I'm not gonna lie and say that all of a sudden it feels like an amazing port and there's no input lag at all, but it feels definitely a lot more reasonable, right? It feels kind of a little bit more like DFK on the 360. It might be a tiny bit laggier. I'll have to double check that up next, but in any case, it does feel better to play the input lag. If it's not faster, it is at least more stable. And so then we have on the right, traditionally how I think most people are probably playing SDOJ, which is either 720p or 1080p. And I'm not going to bother testing 1080p, but I suspect that 1080p runs even worse than 720p. So this replay here, this is the exact same run because I'm using the replay setting in the game. So this is identical and I start the videos to the exact same frame. So they are lined up 100% perfectly. So the differences you are seeing between um, the timings here, as you can see, the left one already is in the boss fight before the right one. It has nothing to do with gameplay differences. It has nothing to do with misalignment. They are aligned to the frame and uh, this is the exact same run on the exact same console. So they're, the only differences between these two is the resolution settings. That is it. So it's interesting to watch how, especially this is just stage one, how magnified this difference gets to be. So yeah, I won't yammer on too much, but again, not only is there less slowdown, but it feels like the lag feels more stable, the slowdown feels more stable, and I'll let the video speak for itself as far as how different the slowdown becomes just within this. So one issue could have been, my theory is that maybe they were programming it and practicing it and testing it in 480i on CRTs and just kind of assumed it would run just fine on 1080p or 720p or something like that. I have no idea. Or maybe there's some kind of glitch or maybe this is like a thing across many 360 ports. So now I kind of want to test the rest of them, DFK, Death Smiles, Mushi, and see if there's differences there. Maybe we just need to start playing our 360 ports in 480i, and if you don't want to play them on a CRT, you might have to invest in a OSSC or something like that, so you can upscale it. Um, it doesn't qu come across super well in the video here, but when you run uh, 480i on an OSSC, the menus and stuff like that have that kind of 480i shimmer or judder or whatever shake um, whereas progressive scans look a lot better on modern displays so you could either probably adjust that within your OSSC settings and stuff like that or when you're within game it actually isn't as noticeable for some reason maybe cave accounted for that maybe it's just the nature of how shmups look I'm not sure but yeah anyway so I'll let the video play out and don't judge me too harshly as far as my SDOJ skills. I don't play a whole lot of SDOJ. I make it a fair amount into the game. I think enough to show the differences. That was the goal anyway. You know, it's not to do a full playthrough of the game. So thanks for tuning in. And uh, I encourage you to sit through the rest of it and kind of uh, see the differences. And I'll thank my patrons at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.
Council. Thank you to Dingo, Anthony A, Ben Wynn, Brian Shiver, Don Pill 2064, EC2151, Eric H, Full Set, Retro Schmupper, Gus, Kiwi, Jake Ryan, Joe Angelo, John, Game Boy Guru, K, Quentin, Malaise, Mark Sloan, Maz, Meher Kalendrian, Nathaniel Davis, and Electron, Neon Daggers, Okla Kulgals, Parlar, Rhysosis, Sir Thumb, Sent Morap, Smacky Factor, Sagumo, Turopon, Young Mini Sui, Yutakaya. Thanks for watching.